Oh, Hog, all this for me? Are you sure? This is going to be crazy. <laughs> What is up, crawler fans, RC enthusiasts, and social media surfers? I'm your boy Josh with Texoma RC, and we have a real treat for you. It's what I've been telling you about for so long now. I'm sorry it's taken now like seemingly weeks. The Bronco was released, I don't know, like a freaking month ago. I had the car on release day. I went out to the rocks. I went out to go play and show it off, and it flipped over and it flipped over and I was at my favorite spot to drive and I couldn't show off my car I was like dude what am I gonna do oh my gosh so I came up with Bella and the boys so uh, and you guys seem to like it so we've had two episodes of Bella and the boys if you have not checked them out please go check them out this is behind the scenes of Bella and the Boys episode three, where Bella gets her parts and becomes a rock crawler. So if you haven't seen that, well, you probably haven't because this is probably gonna come out before that. We'll see after that. I don't know. We'll have to see, dude, but I sure do appreciate that you're here. Stay tuned. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's see what's on the bench. Dude, too much freaking talking. All right, man, so check out this haul. What do we have? We have the Pro Motor from Endura. We have brass diff covers. We have the aluminum axle housings. We have the brass steering nut, our steering link. We have the brass knuckles. We have sweet looking aluminum rims. We have the new 54 millimeter Chirax tires, they look and feel amazing. We have high clearance links, the four link front. We have brass wheel weights. We have the, oh, hex extensions, brass. We have the 23% overdrive. We have the transmission skid, and we have 43 millimeter shocks, and we have the new digital Endura Servo and servo mount and servo horn in black. And of course we got Endura stickers. Let's get it on, man. By the way, before I forget, there will be an Amazon link underneath this video. I am an affiliate. It is an affiliate link. I will get a few pennies for every little few dollars that you spend. And I sure would appreciate it if you would click those links. It's the full build of Bella. Also, you can access the full build of Maximus. And I still have yet to put all the parts from Endura and all the other stuff that you can get on Amazon for Crevice. I will have all that up. Hopefully it'll all be underneath this video, but I gotta remember to start saying that or else I can't put the links down there, dude. So anyways, I got that going for you guys. Please check it out. It helps me out a lot. And I hope you have a great day. All right, look at those wheels. Those look freaking sweet. First thing we're gonna do is get these things all taken apart so we can get the wheels mounted up. All right, now, now that we got that ready to go, now we have to get it all put back together and it's gonna be fun. Why did I take all the screws out even though they had some in there? Because I'm going to put Loctite, that's why. So we had to take them all out make a big mess, and then we will put it all back together. And take our screw, just barely dip it in the Loctite. All right, we got them made up. Dude, look at those. They're gonna look sick. All right, dude, what's next? I don't know. Let's start tearing something up. All right, we're gonna get into these links next. Trick, put it on your 050 wrench. So, using your 050 wrench, put the ball on the end with the big part towards the wrench to go to your deal push it on look at that dude freaking easy push it on over now you're ready to go start over all right we're gonna put it into the link the same way stick it in the hole 
get your little washer down just like that piece of cake dude all right look at her folks oh my gosh we got it all done we got all the links the aluminum axles brass steering and knuckles and all that stuff 43 millimeter shocks boing boing look at it, dude oh my gosh one thing i noticed friction shocks so watch check it out whoa knocking tires off look at that bounce all right we lost the audio here so what are we doing we are going to do the spring mod that's right the spring mod first we're going to capture the bottom coil of the spring just going to use the dental pick here to grab the bottom coil and slide it around the spring seat make sure that it goes all the way around so that it is captured next we're going to do the top so same thing, you grab the coil, have to make sure that it gets past the spring collar, just the top of it, then hold it, and then we are going to work it around. So that's what we're doing here, just work it around, and we gotta get at least the full coil up there to get it captured. Uh, we ended up uh, later tuning the car, we uh, four rings up, five rings maybe over, uh, using the black springs. And then we were maybe three coils over using the, the silver springs, the medium springs in the back. So I hope that works for you. Uh, check it out. And that's the spring mod from Texoma RC. That's how we do it, dude. All right, isn't she beautiful? Oh my gosh, dude. We took off the roof rack. We took off the tire off the back. There was so much footage that we shot. There were problems that we had. Right. We were overloaded. There's, oh my gosh. Yeah. So I'm trying to divide this up, trying to make a good right. video. It will not be Bella and the boys uh, in this episode. I very much apologize, dude. I bit off more than I could chew. I turned it into a stupid freaking cartoon that I didn't want to watch. And so, dude, I'm not going to put that out, bro. So, anyways, we will do Bella and the boys. Look at that side hill, dude. Already, uh, there's more tuning. Look at this. This is where I do. I come around this corner. I, this is how I test my cars. If it can go around right there and touch the front passenger to the bottom, you are going to be doing okay on the rocks. This is, I just love to play around on this little side hill right here. Uh, it really teaches you where the car's balance is. And uh, I use it to tune the suspension and the weighting of the car. It's one of my favorite parts of the course to try it out. Now we're too tall for here. We're gonna have to go around. So we're just taking a little cruise around the wood course. I'm sorry that it is a uh, work in progress. We haven't spent any time on the old wood course here for a long time. This was actually made for the CR24, the wood body truck that you see in some wow, of the shots, some job. around. Oh, and uh, so it's a that. slayer on this course. It just absolutely kills it. But uh, the CR, or the SCX24s are a little bit too big. Uh, and this right here, this is another one. Going down here, if you're able to put the driver in the crack, no, Bella cheated Bella. a little bit and caught the, the uh, roof on the top. But uh, if you're able to run that, that driver down that crack, again, you're doing something. You're really going somewhere. Now, this is not the toughest climb or steepest. It's just hard. I uh, had to cut out uh, for being able to clear underneath and then add it on, a little wood on top, and it just makes the, the beginning there hard. Uh, and the keeping the rails keeping you up there, sorry, uh, just also grab the tires. It's not very nice. So it's just hard obstacles coming down here. Come on, Bella, can you do it? Can we do it? This is a, also, again, a nice hard transition. It teaches you how the car uh, flips balance. And so learning how to do these and, and control it when it's uh, in these situations. I love to uh, go through these areas back and forth, up and down. Uh, to transition these crazy angles and whatever just to learn the car and see what we can do to tune it better So that it will do the obstacle So we're just gonna come around over here. This is another place that I love to just try out uh, Again, you can use the side hill. There's a rail up there for practice uh, and then uh, Also, it, it just uh, Anyways, you see what's going on gee whiz. I actually filmed this 
again. I filmed this first. This is the second time filming uh, after uh, assembling the vehicle. The first time we did have the roof rack on and everything, uh, and I was not able to make this section. Uh, I had to add the uh, silver springs in the rear end because we were too soft. And so uh, through tuning, we finally were able to make that. Uh, we still have more tuning. I think I may go to the 32 millimeter shocks in the front uh, or maybe the 40 millimeter uh, mountain springs from Endura after two, two FMRC. Uh, after watching his video and how he set up his car, um, you know, I recommended the spring mod to him. And uh, if I'm going to recommend things to other people, I should also uh, try out the things that they're recommending. So I'm going to order a set of those and try them on the front, as well as a set of the 32 millimeter shocks uh, to match the ones that I have uh, and use the spring mod. And maybe we'll uh, run those back to back and see the spring mod versus the mountain lizard or just the mountain springs, uh, internal spring uh, from Endura. So we're going to get those ordered. Uh, stay tuned for that, and we'll check that out. We got more right behind this one. Stay tuned. Josh Texoma RC. Peace.